Hey, hey, so finally made it to Bali. Morning. Good morning. We arrived last night. It was a long, long trip. Almost took us 30 hours from the point we left our home in Toronto to now then arrive in Bali. It's been crazy, guys. More than 30. It's been more than 30 hours, honestly, like Preeti's right. It was just a hectic trip overall, but I'm just so glad that we're in Bali. At first, we kind of did not like our hotel, but I think it's pretty nice. This is our bedroom. <laughs> bedroom. This is our hotel room. And we are in Semenyak. Preeti's family is visiting too, so her brother and her uncle are here as well he went out for a walk some food last night and seems like the place around us is pretty pretty tight it has everything it has restaurants it has clubs it has fun stuff but while Preeti's family is still in bed we are gonna go check out a gym get our workout in and start out this trip strong we found a gym pretty close to us about 250 meters away so we're gonna go yeah take it from there looking forward to the workout all right catch you there So we just finished the workout, found a pretty nice gym, but they didn't really allow filming inside. So we filmed some stuff on the phone. But everything is really beautiful here. Having an amazing time. About to go back, get changed and head, head out for brunch. Yeah. I'll join in. Hello. What a day it has been. It's been super fun throughout the day. We went to the beach. The beach was amazing. The waves were crazy. We grabbed some food in the morning and then walked around throughout like Semenyak around the area. Then had some coconut water, which was also pretty good. Like damn, that place had huge, huge like uh, coconuts there. went to another restaurant uh, to grab some food and then it started raining people don't lie pouring. yeah it started pouring people don't lie when they say like it literally pours like something and like rains like something in bali so <laughs> We didn't really have an umbrella or anything like that. And then we pretty much walked all the way back getting drenched. So we are almost like really drenched and it's still raining. So we were like, well, we are wet already. So might as well hit the pool. So we are about to get changed and go hit the pool. Yeah. How do you get up there though? <laughs> so the next day we just kind of hung out at the cafe right next to our hotel and decided to get some work done i got some coding done pretty worked as well and uh, yeah took it easy the following day we went to Changu where Preeti had booked us VIP day beds at the Finns Beach Club which is probably one of the hottest beach clubs I went to. It was just an amazing experience so we chilled out the entire day, had amazing food, drinks, hung out by the beach again, uh, I was in the pool. And 
and we pretty much spent the entire day at that beach club there was just so much to do and it was just so much fun that we didn't feel like leaving all of our expenses were kind of covered for the price that we paid for the bed so yeah all in all it was 10 on 10 experience if you are in bali go check out this beach club you would not be disappointed This is one of the coolest places that we got a chance to visit. Thanalot Temple is a Hindu temple that is located on a large rock formation, which is pretty cool, I feel, and is surrounded by the sea. The temple itself is believed to be one of the seven sea temples in Bali, and it is considered to be a sacred place by the local people. And the views around the area itself were just amazing. Too bad we could not go up to the temple itself, but overall, a solid experience. Bali is known for its amazing cafes. So the next day, we all went to check out this cafe called Milk and Maru in uh, Ubud. And as it was Preeti's birthday, we truly indulged. We got pancakes, we got eggs, we got toast, we got smoothies. The smoothies there were amazing. The ingredients that they had put into it, the fruits, everything was just locally sourced. And I feel like the quality of fruits and vegetables just was this prime quality in Bali and I couldn't get enough of it. The coffee itself was amazing. The beans were freshly roasted. And overall, it was just an amazing experience. Truly loved it. After that, we went to check out this temple called the Saraswati Temple in uh, Ubud. The Saraswati Temple, also known as the Temple of the Goddess of Knowledge and Art, is a popular tourist destination located in the town of Ubud. It's a Hindu temple dedicated to the goddess Saraswati, who is reserved as the deity of knowledge, music, and the arts. And being Hindu from India, was very much familiar with the gods and goddesses here, but it was really cool to see their temples, which are so old but so beautiful. Single place where the coffee's not good. Too fucking human. Too human. 
So had an amazing time in Semenyak. We are just packing up, kind of rushing through it because we are a little late. Preeti's packing up too. Today we gotta go head to Ubud. We have a resort there that we're gonna be staying at for the whole week and spending time. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be an amazing fun time. Had an absolute blast, like in Semenyak, Changu, and food here was amazing. People here are amazing again. And it was just all in all a great experience. Definitely coming back to Bali, but there's more to experience. Like we haven't, we're not leaving for another week at least. So yeah, we'll continue the journey. But right now we are packing up, checking out of our hotel hotel in Samanyak right now and heading to Ubud which is like an hour and a half away. We were there yesterday but today we're gonna go check into our next hotel I mean the resort that we are all staying at so I'll catch you guys there all right.